This is Jupiter Today for the 24th of November 2014. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours 38 minutes 38.9 seconds and a declination of positive 14 degrees 49 minutes 20.9 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun is 99.344 degrees and that's 0.962 degrees greater than yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 756,626,423 kilometers and that's 2,319,379 kilometers closer than yesterday. This produces a relative velocity between the two planets of 96,640.79 kilometers per hour, Earth and Jupiter getting closer together. That's 236.71 kilometers per hour slower than yesterday. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 4, moving east. Europa spends the day in quadrant 2, moving west. Ganymede moves west most of the day in quadrant 3. And Callisto spends the entire day in quadrant 4, moving east. At 6 hours UTC, Io is passing behind Jupiter, moving into Quadrant 1, heading east. Europa is still in Quadrant 2 west. 12 hours UTC, Io is now in Quadrant 1, heading east. Europa is still in quadrant 2, heading west. Io is on the far side of Jupiter. Europa is on the near side of Jupiter. 18 hours UTC. Io reaches maximum eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa continues in quadrant 2 heading west. So now both moons are on the near side of Jupiter. And by zero hours tomorrow morning, Europa is in transit of Jupiter, Io is in quadrant 2, heading west, Ganymede is still in quadrant 3, heading west, and Callisto is in quadrant 4, heading east. At 3.15, Io passes into the shadow of Jupiter. At 6.49, Io appears from behind Jupiter. At 20.23, Europa's shadow ingresses onto the disk of Jupiter. At 2253, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter, and at 2315, the shadow of Europa egresses from the disk of Jupiter. There were no satellite mutual events today, and once again, imagine that you are standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the cloud tops, 
so you can see all of the stars. What would you see? Well, at zero hours UTC, you would see this. This new segment of the podcast will show what the sky looks like over Jupiter over the next 24 hours. In the coming days, I'll talk about this and explain this more. But for now, just sit back and enjoy. The more you watch it, the more you see. There are two crossings of the red spot on the meridian of Jupiter, and those happened at 436, and will happen at 1432. There were no new images or data pertaining to Jupiter or the Jupiter system, and no radio data to report. Also, there were no papers. So please subscribe, would enjoy and appreciate hearing your comments, send your images with the time that you took the images to the email shown, and until tomorrow, I bid you peace.